أنا دعمت الجيش هناك. More than seven years later, in 2008, weeks before we swore the oath of office, President Obama and I were about to swear. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Afghanistan and report back on the state of affairs in the country. President Obama asked me to travel to Have the right and responsibility to their country. And more than just a military force, could not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable Afghan government. I believe that the United States should not create a sustainable أننا سوف نقوم باختراق كل الصعوبات وهذا بالضبط ما قمنا به اتخذ الأمر أكثر من عشر سنوات التي التزم فيها الرئيس أوباما لهذا الأمر وهذا ما حدث أسامة بن لادن ذهب ورحل Think about that We delivered justice to bin Laden a decade ago And we've stayed in Afghanistan for a decade since. Since then, the reasons for remaining in Afghanistan are increasingly unclear. Even as the terrorist threat remains clear. 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 Al Qaeda in Somalia, Al Nusra in Syria, and in Syria, and in many other countries, like the attacks on Daesh in Syria and Iraq, and other countries in Africa and in Asia. وهذا يشكل خطرا على الكثير من الدول وعلى يسبب في وقوع ضحايا كل سنة وهذا خطر على القياديين كذلك لا يمكننا أن نستمر بهذه الدورة فنحن نعزز القوى العسكرية التابعة لنا في أفغانستان من أجل أن نقوم برسم هذا المثال الذي يحتذى به من أجل أن نحصل على النتائج المطلوبة أنا الآن الرئيس الإسرائيلي ومعي Pass this responsibility onto a fifth. قياديين من الجمهوريين والديمقراطيين لن نستمر بهذا الدائرة. Diplomats and our development experts, with the Congress and the Vice President, من الكونغرس with Mr. Ghani and many others around the world. ومن القياديين من حول العالم أنا استنتجت أن الوقت قد حان لهذه الخطوة ل. أن يعود تعود القوى العسكرية الأمريكية إلى البلاد عندما دخلت إلى المكتب Duly negotiated between the government of the United States and the Taliban. بدأنا بالمفاوضات بيننا ومع طالبان في أفغانستان. 2021. Just three months after the war. قررنا أن ينتهي الأمر بحلول الأول من أيار لهذا العام هذا ليس هو الأمر الذي أردت أن أتفاوض عليه ولكن هذه الاتفاقية كانت هنا قبل أن آتي والأمر له أهمية أنا سأحافظ على الاتفاقية من أجل مصالحنا العالمية ونحن سوف نبدأ أن نعيد القوى العسكرية في الأول من أيار وسوف نستمر بكل مجهودنا في المسؤولية مع كل حلفائنا والشركاء الذين لديهم قوة في أفغانستان وسيطر أكثر من الولايات المتحدة وعليهم أن يعلموا أنهم إذا هاجمونا سوف نقوم بحماية أنفسنا وحماية شركائنا أيضا هناك شركائنا وحلفائنا وقفوا وقفة الرجل الواحد لمدة عشرين سنة تقريبا ونحن نقدر هذا المجهود لهذه المهمة المشتركة وللتضحيات التي قدموها الخطة كانت إما أن ندخل سوية أو نخرج منها سوية 
نحن وشركاؤنا سنكون خارج أفغانستان قبل أن يسجل الذكرى العشرين لوجودنا هنا ولكننا لن نغمض عيوننا عن المنطقة substantial assets in the region to prevent reemergence. وسوف نستمر بحماية المنطقة من كل الخطر المحدق. We will not allow any terrorist to threaten the United States or its allies from Afghanistan. The Afghan government has made that commitment to us. We will focus on the challenges we face today. My team is refining our national strategy to monitor and disrupt significant terrorist threats. My team is refining our national strategy to monitor and disrupt significant terrorist threats. My team is refining our national strategy to monitor and disrupt significant terrorist threats. My team is refining our national strategy to monitor and disrupt significant terrorist threats. My team is refining our national strategy to monitor and disrupt significant terrorist threats. My team is refining our national strategy to monitor and disrupt significant terrorist threats. لكننا نحترم الشجاعة والكرامة للرجال والنساء الأمريكيين في الجيش الموجود هناك الذين فرضوا قوتهم العسكرية هناك ونقدر عائلاتهم كذلك فتقريبا 20% من الامريكيين يخدمون في الجيش ونحن مدينون لهم فهم لم يتراجعوا عن اي خطوه لحمايتنا لم يتراجعوا ولم ينحنوا وقاموا بتقديم الشرف نيابة عنا وعلينا ان نقدرهم وان نشكرهم بنيابة عن الشعب Our diplomatic and humanitarian work will continue. We will not stop working with Afghanistan. We will continue to support them financially and otherwise. And with our partners, we have been able to train more than 300,000 Afghan personnel today in the past two decades. And they'll continue to fight back on their behalf at a great cost. They'll support peace talks. They'll support peace talks between the government of Afghanistan and the Taliban. And we'll continue to support the United States by maintaining significant humanitarian and development assistance. And we'll ask other countries and other countries in the region to do and to Pakistan, 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 Russia, China, Russia, China, Russia, China, 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 who will loudly insist that diplomacy cannot succeed without a robust U.S. military presence and diplomacy can never prove different. We had many engagements in Afghanistan. And not when we were down to not hinge on having boots in harm's way, U.S. boots on the ground. We have to change that thinking. American troops should be used as a bargaining chip between the American and other countries. You know, it's nothing more than keeping American troops in Afghanistan in debt. But also, remember that we should stay. Stay for Afghanistan because withdrawal would damage America's credibility and weaken America's influence in the world. I believe the exact opposite is true. We went to Afghanistan because of the horrific attacks that happened in 2021. That cannot explain why we were in 2021.